The Webley revolver was first manufactured in the 1850s and has evolved since the original Webley Mark VI service revolver over 300,000 of which were produced between the year 1914 and 1939. This revolver revolutionized the handgun design and was immediately adopted as the preferred sidearm for British and Commonwealth troops during the First and Second World Wars due to its superior stopping power and fast reloading. So basically, the .455 Webley is the same thing as a long coat, but short. And thanks to companies like Pyramid Air, we get to enjoy the Webley at a very great price. You can find these models, six inch is the service model, four inch is the police model, and the two and a half inch is the civilian model. You can all find these at pyramidair.com. I highly suggest you go get quality if that's what you want. Introducing the Webley Mark VI civilian model, the 455 caliber replica, two and a half inch revolver. This thing is a 177 pellet. It's a six round capacity based on original blueprints and original 1915 markings. This thing is feel strippable. It's a single and double action. Let's not forget about the rifle steel barrel and the fame and glory this thing has in video games and movies. You'd be well excited and really happy about this one. What's going on ASR subscribers? Thank you so much. Welcome to another awesome quick unboxing. Today we have the Webley Mark VI 455 2.5 inch barrel revolver. If you haven't subscribed, I highly suggest you do. If not, you'll be missing out on the content. If you are new to the channel, hit that notification bell to get notified whenever my videos drop. So let's go ahead and get to the unboxing because this replica definitely looks awesome, not only, but looks in good quality. So let's go ahead and get to it. So immediately when you open the uh, box, you'll get the manual plus the other models that are found on the uh, Webley site. We'll go down to webleyandscott.com and you'll find these other replica models. This thing is backed by a three year warranty that is awesome. You can tell this thing is made out of quality if it's backed by a three-year warranty. I highly suggest you subscribe to that. Now, for the beautiful product, this thing feels amazing. Let's go ahead and take this thing off. This is Webley and Scott's first run on the Airstream channel. And I can tell you this, they're definitely going to leave here with a good impression. Look at the quality of this thing. This thing is a 177 caliber. You can find this in 22 caliber. That's right, guys. To all the 22 fans, you can find this in 22. So let's go ahead and get back to the functions. All right. So right off the bat, we can see we have a cylinder cam, a cylinder cam lever. We have a barrel catch that's pretty much serrated. Really nice, really awesome. And we also have a hammer that is serrated as well. We also have a front sight and a rear sight. They're both fixed. The front is blade, the rear is notched. And you cannot adjust these. They're pretty much fixed. And I can't get over how beautiful these serrations are on the hammer and barrel catch. So it is a single action and double action revolver. So that's sweet as well. So it does have a plastic grip. 
The trigger is made out of metal, so that's pretty sweet. So the reason why uh, a lot of these um, common models that you see coming through here with good quality uppers and plastic uh, grips for some odd reason, but I can see why this model would have a plastic grip because you have to install the CO2 capsule here in the handle. And inside the handle, it gives you a warning to make sure you remove your CO2 capsule when you're finished. So that way your CO2s will not be uh, ruined. So uh, make sure you take that out and throw it away before you store it. In other words, make sure you use uh, good quality pellets. We also have a lanyard swivel. So what's awesome about these uh, cylinder cam and the cylinder cam lever in the cylinder. So when you try to get to your cylinder to get to your shells to break this thing, uh, you use your barrel catch release, which is mounted with the rear sights. Uh, pretty crazy design. Pretty awesome at the same time. Plus, you have some ergonomics here so that way you can place your hand over. So what this beautiful concept, this mechanism right here does, this uh, cylinder cam, what it does, it pushes up the shells for easy accessibility. All right. If it didn't have that, you would probably be pinching out your shells or like a normal revolver, you have the prong sticking out. Then you have to manually push it with the prong and then do at the same time, which is kind of more of a hassle. But uh, Webley has designed a beautiful, um, very gorgeous concept. Look at I mean, just look at it. Quality, quality. So let's go over the safety feature it also comes with. Um, as you can see, that right now should be on fire. Let's see if it works. The safety feature works, guys. There you have it. Such a beautiful concept. We also, I don't know if I mentioned it, lanyard swiver, but that's pretty much it on this beautiful concept. It's very beautiful. Six shots. It's pellet. It's got a rifle barrel and it shoots about three joules. So let's go ahead and take this thing out to the range because I'm so excited. I want to see the accuracy and I want to see the FPS. So I'll meet you guys outside. Stay tuned. All right, guys, let's go over a few tips. Sometimes revolvers can be a gruesome uh, recoil system since the fact that they don't have a recoil system, spring kit, things like that. When you fire these big calibers, what they intend to do is this. So that's natural, no problem. And sometimes the weight of the firearm can counter that. So the more weight, the better sometimes, not in all cases, but sometimes. So the weight of it is very important. The recoil management is real important. So this might help you in the real gun world as well. So there's two ways that I know that individuals actually hold the revolvers. Now, I've learned uh, a few things from Jerry Mitchellick. If you don't know who Jerry Mitchellick is, he is a rapid competitor shooter for revolvers. Now he holds the record on uh, the fastest shooting revolver uh, man in history. And, uh, and still to this day, he obtains that uh, record. So I'm gonna show you a few tips that he showed me how to manage recoil on these heavy duty revolvers. So the first thing what you do is obviously grab it ergonomically the way it's intended to do. I've seen people grab them the teacup handle, right? You just place your hand, grip it as tight as possible, and then fire. The problem I have with that concept is when you're grabbing it this way, the gun is gonna do this, correct? And that's what it's naturally supposed to do since we don't have a recoil system. But there's a better way to grab that and to have more managed recoil system um, capabilities is you basically take your fingertips Make sure you place them over your knuckles, right? Grab it, flip the gun down using your thumb over the thumb knuckle. All right, grab this with your dominant hand. And when you apply this, apply it with pressure. So the same way you're grabbing this and keeping this from flipping up, the same way you're gonna grab this hand, place them, place the tips, fingertips over the knuckle, this finger over your knuckle all right the same way you're holding this to do this you're going to take this hand and do the same thing 
all right flip this this hand to help manage that recoil and you should have better shots uh follow-up shots as well and very accurate stabilization so let's go ahead and put some pellets down range with this awesome revolver all right guys welcome to the chronograph testing here we have the webley scott civilian model revolver we're going to be testing out some alloy pellets some hypermax rws 5.2 grains and then we're going to be testing some lead pellets crossman dome 7.0 grains let's go ahead and turn on the chronograph make sure you use pell gun oil for your co2 cartridges here we go time to crunch some numbers this is muzzle velocity let's see what kind of numbers we can get 421 418 423 that's with alloy now it's time for the lead 21 and 7.0 each one of these stones represents 10 steps. We're gonna be taking six shots at 10, six more shots at 20. Take a look at the uh, target and see what kind of accuracy we can get out of this beautiful replica model. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe guys. If not, you'll be missing out on the content. So let's get this party started. All right, so here we have the ammunition and here we have the arsenal. As I said before, six at 10, six at 20. All right, I'm gonna load this thing up, move back another 10 and back at the target. All right, I finished loading this thing up. And as you can see, the target seems to be a little bit farther. 20 steps is where we're at, another six shots. All right, that's it, let's go look at the target. Not bad at all. time it is it's time to test out that trigger i have the trigger gauge with me we're checking out the webley scott civilian model let's check out that trigger it's a mystery with this one because it didn't say nothing on the box so we have a 2.0 not bad two pound trigger on the single action very smooth very crisp it should be on 
zero there. And a 2.2, .2, not bad. It's gonna be three on three. One more for the single. 2.4, so this has somewhere around two, two and a half pound on um, single action. Now let's try this thing on double. All right, here we go. 4.8, not bad. Your standard revolver poundage. 5.0. So wow, you have somewhere between a five pound to a four and a half pound. Not bad at all. Let's check the overall length of the whole shebang. It should be around seven inches. So it's seven inches in overall length because of the bird goose neck handle you would, whatever you want to call it. Let me run over a few things with you before we step it up on the scale. It's really important that you use Pell gun oil, and I can't stress it enough, guys. Um, a lot of individuals are using household products. Um, I wouldn't recommend you to do that. Pell gun oil is especially made for these CO2 um, pellet guns, air rifles, pistols, whatever you, wh whatever is driven by CO2. It's best to go ahead and get your Pell gun oil. To prevent that, this is only $4. You can find them at Walmart. You can find them just about anywhere online. They're around 4 bucks. So don't let $4 ruin your $100, $200 air gun. Very important. Now, well, let's weigh this thing up. Okay, guys, let's set this beautiful masterpiece on the scale. See where we're at. Very awesome CO2 pellet revolver all right we're weighing at two pounds let's go ahead and get my final thoughts on this beautiful concept all right guys my final thoughts on the mark 6 1915 replica civilian model now this is a pellet revolver must i remind you it's not a bb combo you do not shoot bbs out of this because it does have a rifled barrel and if you try to shoot bbs out of this it will probably ruin your barrel so I wouldn't recommend you to do that. Now you gotta remember it's 1915, all right? And this model is way ahead of its time. And if you don't probably believe me on that, uh, most revolvers these days, uh, modern revolvers, do not have this self-ejecting um, mechanism. So it's an awesome feature to find at the time of 1915, you gotta remember. This is an awesome feature, awesome design, and I can see why other companies were just blown away by this amazing product. Now you can see that this thing has a lanyard swivel, which is much better than some uh, CO2 revolvers as well, because some of them you have to pull out the um, handle, slide it out, tighten it up, then slide it back. This one, all you have to do is just put your CO2 in there, have it ready, and hand tighten this thing. And when you do, have it just hand tighten and have it ready for whenever you want it pierced, you can pierce it. You don't have to have it just pierced completely through the whole process if you don't need it. Or if you do, whatever, I mean, that's up to you guys. You seen the accuracy on it. It was pretty amazing at 10, 20 yards, 20 steps as a matter of fact, sorry about that. We've used the Hyper Max 5.2, uh, RWS pellets, their alloys. We use that on the chronograph and we also use the lead pellets on the chronograph to get you a little bit of best of both worlds. Now, must I remind you guys, and I can't stress it enough, I know some of you guys are probably tired of it, but make sure you use pell gun oil. It's really important that you use this stuff because you're spending maybe $100, $200 on um, air gun co2 powered now this is for co2 only you got to apply just one drop at least every time you use it on every new co2 cartridge now when you do that your gun will last you a lot longer than you think um all my air revolvers all of my air gun co2 powered i use pell gun oil and it works 
for me and I have not had not one malfunction yet on any of my air guns because I've used Pell gun oil. Well, guys, thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, I highly suggest you do. To all the new uh, comers, hit that notification bell to receive my videos when they drop. Well, guys, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you so much for spending some time on ASR. Um, long live the Republic. Until next time on Airstream.